Boom, boom. Hey guys, this is the channel of Bowie, and welcome back for some more Pokemon. It's a yellow version. I'm Matthew. And I'm Dale. And we're on the other side of the Diglett Tunnel. And. And I'm not sure you caught the first second of that audio. I'm not sure if I caught Pikachu at the beginning of the game. Well, he's not a Pokeball. Well, P Professor Oak did, see? Yeah, so I know you didn't catch him. A fan of Pokemon can't fight, but can still use moves like Cut. I'm not going to make a cutting myself joke. I'm saying that out loud technically was a cutting myself joke. <laughs> I like how your unconscious little Pidgey <laughs> can carry you all the way back to Vermilion City. Yeah, but you know, I don't know. So, I want to tell you guys something. I fucking hate the Diglett Cave. It's not that bad. Well, it's really bad in the late in the leaf green version because every single Diglett has fucking arena trap and you can't run away from them. It but gets now, worse. I'm talking Professor Oak's aid. He's Wait, are you saying me... that he has AIDS? Aha, uh -huh, that's not a joke anyone has made before. Ah ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha. They're from all around Kanto. Yeah, so. I'm going. He's giving me HM05. I have caught at least eight. I have caught 11 kinds. I did not know I've caught 11 kinds of Pokemon, Dill. I'm surprised <laughs> you caught that many. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was a little bit behind. I don't have any room for the HM05. Eh, don't worry, it's only vital to your game. Yeah, see, because I need it for a dungeon, because there's a dungeon that's dark and I need it to light up that shit. And without it, you know, oh, you walk into the dark and I don't want to do that. That I sounds lame. HMO5 was strength. No, it's it's flash. Um, well, what, what can I use here? I got a... Just use, use a random TM and teach it to some Pokemon. Doesn't matter what it is, we're not going to look it up. Just use one of your random HMs, TMs. I just we'll... use a max potion to recover 6 HP. Oh my god. I just want, you know, I hope they cause someone a butt ton of pain. I want someone to feel that. I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh. I've got 10 kinds of Pokemon, and now I have room in my freaking bag. I'm really glad they made your bag just infinite in every other game past yeah. this one. Oh, no, that's not. Oh god. Oh, Jibby, Jesus Christ, you gotta get rid of one more thing. Let's see. Um, what t HM is this? That's Too bad we're gonna use it. Thunder Wave. Yeah, I want Thunder Wave to teach another Pokemon. What's this one? Dig. Teach it to Pikachu. Pick a dig. Wow, uh, Neo King can't learn dig in this game. Look at that. What? Yeah. Huh? This game sucks. Oh, but can one of his pre evolutions use it? Because I'm trying to. I really need. No, this game. Oh, able to shit. Use it. Body Slam. That's what I want. So. One of the things I realized recently is that Slam cannot paralyze its body slam that um, paralyzes. Another thing about that is that Slam is completely useless in every other way because it has lower accuracy and has lower power. It doesn't do. It has no secondary benefit. Yeah, no secondary benefit. So it's entirely uh, useless. No. Yes. You have to. You have to punch shit. Yeah. I. I have to punch shit. You know, if Pikachu's not punching shit, he's not being a real Pikachu. You know. Exactly. What, like, interesting person gives, uh, Pikachu Body Slam? He already has Thunder Wave. If you're gonna, like, if you're trying to paralyze something, you're gonna paralyze something. Exactly. I don't know if it does more damage or not. I don't know the base move on, uh... No, it does more damage. What's Mecha Punch's I, base? I think, I don't... Dude, doesn't matter. Get rid of Poison Stink. It's entirely useless. It does, like, 15 damage. It's got the, one of the lowest base stat totals. One of the what lowest... What are you talking about? It's so good! It's good against grass types, who are mostly also poison type. Yeah. Because you got Venusaur, who's also poison type. Yeah, you're right. And you got you got Victory Bell, which is also poison type. You got but you Vile got Plume. Vile Plume. Which is awesome. I think like the only pure grass type is like Tangela, right? And then yeah, the only other grass type that isn't yeah. part is uh, a part Psychic type, which is Executor. Oh yeah. Uh, which my Pokemon? Is it Roger the Nose Cut? No, it's Mitch that Nose Cut. I forgot the names of your Pokemon and who they are. <laughs> Mitch. He's a Mitch Digger. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know who that is. He's from, uh. Oh, yeah! Mitch Digger. So that's your Diglett. Yeah. Oh, God. He's from, um. I don't know any of the games your Pokemon are from. Dokapone. You're gonna know. Oh, yeah, boy. He finds hot springs for you, so you can make lots of money. I love money. No, you don't. Money's ruining your life, Dill. 
Yeah, that's why I took a job for the hotel from 7 to 8 a.m. Yeah, so Dylan's here sitting there like, oh, I'm going to work Chili's all day, right? And then I'm going to work at a hotel from, Hi, like 11, to from 11, to, um, 11 at night to 7 in the morning and then go back and work more Chili's. Because who needs a life? <laughs> Dylan doesn't. Not me, apparently. He's a good Chili's boy. So if you ever really want to hit up Chili's... Hi, welcome to Chili's. I don't, work in, I don't work in the front no more. Yeah. But I work in the back. If I got, you sneak into the back door, you might be able to meet him. I got some crazy stories from Chili's I might tell y'all one day. Yeah. So this fucker right here gives you the old amber. This chunk of amber contains Pokemon Dene. Dene. It'd be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me. So I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. So we got an old Amber. Dylan fucking loves. I uh, swear, Aerodactyl. As much as I, as as shitty as my taste in Pokemon is, as shitty as Mr. Mime is, and as shitty as other Pokemon I forgot that I used to like that turned out to be just fucking garbage are, Aerodactyl is a good Pokemon. Okay, so on that note, I want to talk about. Aerodactyl. Just to, to, you know, shut Dill down and make him feel bad about his taste in Pokemon. The glassiest of cannons. So, Aerodactyl is crazy fast Pokemon. And it has, um, a pretty do a pretty decent attack stat. Now I have to go back to the day to climb the tunnel. Damn it. Alright. Decent my ass. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good attack stat, but it has no defense, and it has no special, <laughs> and it has no That's HP. It. No. So, it's a glass cannon. However, in this generation, it doesn't have any stab rock type moves. Oh yeah, it's shit in the first generation. <laughs> yeah, it is shit in the first generation. So you're really going to have only normal type moves and um, a flying type move. And wing attack only has 30 base damage in this game, so you're not going to be using wing attack. Oh, uh, 35? Oh, sorry. And then it has, you can put fly on it. No, the but really the only thing like the essential thing is sky attack, which takes a turn for him to use up. That's the essential thing for Aerodactyl, which shows how kind of bad he is. Yeah. But the thing is, is that you're supposed to send him out, and then someone's going to think um, it's on the read that do I have like no encounters there. Yeah. He went that was all the way through. Beautiful. But it's on the um, based off the read that um, you're. You're going to use a normal type of move, so they're going to switch to Gengar and then get ass blasted by Stab Sky Attack. But you have to get a pretty hard read for that to be worth anything. Yeah. yeah just maybe not be. You just just throw a Hyper Beam on him. Yeah, that's what you do. You throw a Hyper Beam on him, and um, also he can't take an explosion, and he's Rock type, and he takes half damage from it. So, Jeez. <laughs> but now that we have the Thunder Badge, we're a good trainer and. This uh, police officer, Officer Jenny, is going to give us a Squirtle. Yeah, his name is Steven. Okay. Yeah, looking at the move set, he really can't learn. He can't learn shit, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think he can learn fly, and that's the only HM move he uses. So you can yeah. you can technically use him, but you're only going to use him for his speed, and. He's, there's so many better options you can use. So, if you use him, he's technically viable, but he's not going to be the most fun option you have. So, once I can gen, half so. recommend him, half not. Once I highly recommend him. Maybe not in this gen. In this gen, I'll re go for it. Yeah, any fun of, as fuck. Any of my recommendations are based off of the current generation. So, oh, current generation. Use Aerodactyl. No, I mean the current generation oh, I'm playing. I was about to say, Mega Aerodactyl's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I do, but... Um, Still a glass cannon. My farts are a force to be reckoned with. They're poison wind type. Yeah, poison wind type, Matthew. Matthew. Makes a new type in just my ass. Oh, God. Um, see, I'm going to deposit some Pokemon real quick. I made it. Never mind. I don't need no Roger. I don't need no... Who's Roger? What was Roger? <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? I forget all the Pokemon. Oh, you just got him. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's right. Are you a dumbass? Still? No, Roger's my freaking Bulbasaur that I got like several episodes ago. Oh, uh, oopsie. So, I'm going to deposit some items that I really won't need for a while. Just eat all of them, even the escape rope. No, on the Moonstone. I 
probably should do this off camera, but oh well. Yeah, oh, I, well. I don't. I don't need the town map because I'm a good at this game or something. Don't need pokeballs. Um, I can sell the nugget. We're never, we're never using the SS ticket again. Nope. You just look back at it with fond memories. Yeah. Um, Old Rod can only catch Magikarp. Don't want it. I need that bike voucher though. Yeah, boy. Keep that shit. And I think that's it. Yeah, you can, uh, you can drop the old ammo in the helix until we get back to yeah. it. Yeah. And, well... Oh, do I have the helix fossil still? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not using either of those Pokemon, I don't think. Uh, no. Nah, well, yeah. Yeah, no. <clears throat> so, almost starts to become surprisingly good for me in Pokemon Go. Pokemon... Pokemon Goo? Pokemon Goo? Yeah. Me and Dylan are Pokemon Go players. Team uh, Mystic. Hell yeah. Team Instinct. But really, it's Team... Oh, have friends on another team and screw over your teammates and kick one person out of the gym and then put so have your friend put kick one person out of your gym and so you can join it. Yep. <laughs> like, oh man, all my all my friends are in this gym. Hey Matthew, fuck them up. <laughs> yeah. The real way to po play Pokemon Go, uh, especially with that new gym remake. Me and Dylan making hella cash money. So, fun fact: Let's talk about Pokemon Go for a little bit. Uh, the new gym system, at least as far as the coin goes, might be ass. Because it's 50 coins per Pokemon. Oh. It's, it's not, I thought it was 50 coins per Pokemon per day. Nope, it's just 50 coins total. So yep. if your Pokemon, adult, if no one kicks your Pokemon out of the gym, they can be in there for three days and you're like maxed out at 50 and you're just waiting for someone to like let it die. And so, you can't call it back to you. Nope. And then fun fact... Let's say oh. three of your Pokemon come back on the same day. You only get 50 coins. Really? That's why I had that problem early yesterday. And that's why Emily didn't get hers back. We already had a Pokemon come back to us that day. So, if you have like eight Pokemon in the gym for a week. And then there's just a genocide on your team. In one day. In one day. Get the bike. Oh, you're right. That's why I was going there. You're right. Thanks. So there's a genocide in your team. They just take out all the gyms and all 80 of your Pokemon come back and they've been there for like a week and a half. You're only getting 50 coins. Yeah, that's dumb as shit. Yeah. Oh, well. Just a little. Just just a little bit. Yeah. Raids are cool, except I've uh, only seen Magmar in Electabuzz. Unless you only have Magmar. Yeah, hey, like into Flareon, but who doesn't have all the Aviations at this point? Uh, if you don't, Espeon is Sakura and Umbreon is Tamao. Is there... So I have a bicycle now. Is there any way to... Select? There's not select in this generation. Uh... Start, maybe? Oh, well. I want a bicycle now. I had no idea. Look how fast I move. And look, I have a, I have a blue bicycle. Isn't that cool? I mean, if you leave, you have uh, a green new bicycle. No. I don't have a bicycle anymore. <laughs> it's gone. See, I know there's a way... You can get your bicycle in the front. I think you have to go into the PC and rearrange all that stuff. But it has cursor memory, so that's not the worst thing. So. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, boy. We're cutting down this tree, and we're going to start this route. But first off, we got this girl to mess up. Let's see. I got Daki Bob in front, and that'll be good enough for now. Yeah, to change items, press select on the item you want to switch. Then press select again on the spot you want to be on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew I was right. Yeah, because the Game Boy does have select. I just don't know where select is on this controller. Oh, God, how does it how does I'm it playing on GameCube. Over? It's probably the Z button. But that's still going to be weird. I'll have to try that out in a sec. Oh, All right, I don't know what I'm going to do about this Oddish. This is the game. <laughs> there you go. I you're, win. You're more than four levels over. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, I just want this one needs to last like three turns, and I'm not gonna waste any more of my sweet rap PP. Oh, that sweet, sweet PP. Oh uh, no, that golden PP. That's really just crude, dill. It is golden. It's, it's worth its weight in gold. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's what you meant. If you're, if you're fast, you're it's guaranteed kill. Okay, uh, what Bell I meant. Sprout. Yeah, that's totally. Bell Sprout's name is an R. Kelly. What? Oh, I get it. Because R. Kelly's a good singer. Yeah, because he's a good singer. Do you hear this <laughs> just fly ass music? I'm like, this shit's fire. Click a shoe! Use punch! He should punch the fuck out of him. Uh, he has like those little like spiky hands. He's like 
Eh. It's got the Cestus from Dark Souls. Yeah. Pika Souls. Pika Souls 3. Skull drop the first peak. You know, my um, in my Dark Souls run, um, I named my my character Sir Kip of Mud. Shoot, are you... I named myself are Bart you Mack, my, my newest one. Are you joshing me? Is he draking you? Ha! Uh, uh, so I wasn't invited to the wedding? Ooh. Oh boy. And now I'm going to complain about it on social media? Oh jeez. My favorite one. Put me in Danger Boy somewhere. Interesting. Photoshop him into the wedding picture. <laughs> oh no. Wow, that's a... Uh... That's unfortunate. Get dutied on, fam. Uh, oh, get double dude. Are you gonna take triple damage? Why? Cause you're wrapped and poisoned. Ah, oh, shit. Get dookied on. Yeah, this is dumb. Get <laughs> straight dookie. Watch this shit. Uh, somebody thought that wasn't busted. Yeah. Well, they didn't give a shit. Like, half this game doesn't work, Bill. They're just like, we gotta release a video game. This is a different era. I saw something, and I forget what it is, so I can't defend it, that said the red, blue, and yellow were supremely, like, really well-made games. Because at the time, like, these games still work. Like, that's an original yellow cartridge. Yeah. Like, it works so good for, like, what we had to work with at the time this game was made. And people shit on it because 30 years later, somebody's like, oh, there's one glitch that you can... Make infinite items on your sixth slot on Cinnabar Island, but yeah. it was amazing for the because that 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 is loaded down with tech. That, that was cutting edge technology. Yeah, you could cut yourself on that edge. I'm trying to make a point here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Make your point. <laughs> no, that's the point. Well, I I forget what it was. It was some Tumblr post. So I mean, yeah, maybe it's bullshit. Well, that's one of the things I think is that. You know, it's, that's cool and all, right? Okay, that does not do that. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a... You can just deposit every yeah, single that item. It. Is it Y? Oh! It is Y! Do that. <laughs> Slot one bicycle. <laughs> Fuck the rare candies. Easy. I don't know, but I just I just don't um, support the idea that Generation 1 of Pokemon is flawless, you know? No, not flawless. And There's definitely brokenness, but from a programming standpoint of the game, no, yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, a lot, like, that's a part, and another thing about the, these glitches and stuff, I think they actually add charm to the game and they make it, you know, in, something interesting to talk about down the line. Um, so, I don't think... I feel like the glitches are like are actually even harmful to the experience. They actually add a little bit oh, no. of fun to talk about, and you know they are aspects of an era. Anyways, I wanted to get that TM. I want to see what it is, and then we're gonna see you guys next time because this is an episode. Hey, so yeah, it is. we're gonna go through this route, and then we're gonna go probably to my least favorite area of the game. Teleport. teleport. Oh, oh, completely oh, useless ass. TM. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.